this would never work prior this, to this. This is not even circle one. Okay. Hey, I'm Jonathan. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Welcome back if you've been here before. I'm hoping that everyone will have a good time <laughs> and get along. What I'm about to tell you might be a bit personal, maybe even private. Before uploading every video, I show it to my significant other. And I did so with the last putting video. And she went, is that you putting? Yeah. Pathetic. Can't have that. I noticed something while editing the last putting video. And I'll show you. So this is me putting. Me. 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 And if we compare that to Johannes. So confident, strong. I want confidence, I don't want me. So I've asked Johannes to show me his technique. Hopefully I can learn something from it and get more confidence in my putting. Hopefully you can get the same. He's been playing for 25 years, I have not. Please help. Today we're gonna learn how I putt. Yes, Fun thank too. you. <laughs> the two regular putting styles are like, you know, the spin putt, where you have a lot of spin of it mm -hmm. and use your full arm. Mm. And you have the lift putt, where you have a pretty stiff arm and just lift it up like a rock. I, I do, the, I'm stroking the board, like really hard. You're very stiff when you're stroking Thank the board. Thank you. Let's try something new. Mm -hmm. But you need to be really smooth and loose in your body. We're gonna be here a while then. Into the basket. Yeah. I have a pretty straight arm. You see that I'm aiming like with my eyes. Mm. I'm not putting from here or here. And I'm going pretty low. So I'm down here. What do you I do with your, th this thing? Well, I try to use my legs yeah. to kick up some force. Shoot. Yep, but I'm starting like this, going back. And, and then I push off. When I do the weight shift, when I kick, I al always sort of go overboard with it. Yeah. Why? If you move back a little bit more, mm -hmm. you can put more force and you end up straight. But if you're here, if I start here, yeah. and I just use a little bit of force, I'm gonna fall over. So That think, makes a lot of think, sense. If you do it right, you don't need, need to use a lot of force. It's just a little kick and get the wrist snap in the end. I only do like this. Yeah, try to bend back uh, the mm -hmm. wrist a bit. So you actually have to give it that snap. Because if you're extended all the way, then there won't be any snap. I'm gonna try. Just try it out and see what feels good. So how come you're, you're sort of spush putting? I started out with a Fierce spin putt, mm -hmm. super hard. And when I missed, I missed and it went long. So I started doing the lift putt, no spin and only super straight arm. And I had it high in the air, so I'd like, but I was missing a lot high and low. Okay. So I tried to get some more power behind it. And then I started using a little bit more wrist and loosen up my arm. And now I think I have a good speed and I feel good accuracy. Spush. Push putt. Push putt. A bit more stable. Stable. Yeah. Usually gets a bit of the the old heiser. Me personally, I I've started to use a little bit of a heiser angle because mm. I get a clean release with it, and that but doesn't matter. But you choose that much. the heiser. I choose the heiser. I am way. trapped <laughs> with the heiser. You're gonna correct the angle later when you when you get comfortable with the technique. If you want to use the power from your foot, mm. it has to stop and be in your foot and be transferred in your body to your arm. So you're shooting the power, stopping and giving and then it to the, arm the, the power and to okay. the disc. And that's also a thing how I adjust if I have a longer putt or a shorter one. Mm -hmm. 
So if I have a short putt, maybe I just stand like this. I only need the power from my arm. Yeah. But if I'm 45 or 50 meters out, maybe I'm standing like this with my, with my leg. Look at the basket and just attack it. So this is me attacking the basket. Do it. Fearless. Yep. Can we try a bit? This would never work prior this, to this. Is this is not even circle one. Okay. You would... Uh, I would... I would take even further back, further the, back, like, yeah. and push a bit harder. It's really good. Thank you. The power is there. I don't know if I'm supposed to like accept my heiser <laughs> or work against my heiser. Should I? You got new putts, so when you start to wear them in, they're gonna be, they're gonna go straighter. Oh, okay, that's good. I like it. I usually aim a little bit higher, so I have higher. to give it some more height. So I should release it just a bit later. Do you do this? I don't change the, the angle of the disc in this way, because oh. then it's gonna lose speed. I lift it up like this, mm. so I can lift it up more with my wrist. Okay. I, I wouldn't have Look made like that a, like a, a 30 minutes ago. It's a big... It feels like a big difference. And I think it was. So it went really well with Johannes. I was shocked. I was quite surprised. In that short amount of time that it, that it affected my putting that much. Which brings me to sort of a realization to find what works the best for me and hopefully for you as well is to surround yourself with people and players that are better than you to learn and to listen and not be all stressed out about it. Just have a good time. For me, that comes really naturally, easily. Everyone here knows more than I do, but that's fine. I'm fine. <laughs>